Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Uh, Red Sounds hit me up and said, CJ, would you uh, want to do a video on our uh, future R&B hip hop uh, chords for Cthulhu preset bank? I said, absolutely. That um, sounds super dope. There's not a lot of uh, chord presets uh, out there for Cthulhu. You know, not really good ones at least. This is definitely one of the best ones I've came across. And uh, so thank you, Red Sounds, uh, for sending that through. And we're going to be trying it out right now. I also wanted to show you guys a little trick that I use to uh, to export MIDI once you've created it in Cthulhu. We're going to get into that in a little bit. So the preset bank is going to be sent to you in a zip folder. You just double click uh, to expand that zip folder and then you can uh, take a look inside. So right off the bat, you could see here you have your ARP presets and your chord presets. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use the chord presets. In order to uh, import them into Cthulhu, um, you have a, a few steps you need to do. So let's go over those right now. Let me close out of this. I have Logic open already with an instance of Omni. People sometimes get confused and think that they get the uh, the actual uh, software. This is a preset bank for the software. So if you need Cthulhu, also put a link in the description for that. Anyway, let's go ahead and import that uh, Cthulhu instance, just like so. And I've not made any changes to MIDI routing or whatsoever. I just dropped it right onto the MIDI effects tab, right? Just like that. All right, Cthulhu gets uh, gets opened up. I turn my ARP off. <clears throat> and as you can see here, I already have the, uh, the preset bank right here. Uh, so in order for you to install it, what you gotta do is go here and then uh, open up the Show Cthulhu Presets folder. Once you get there, under Chord, you'll have these two folders, right? Under Chord, you could just import that entire, uh, that entire uh, folder bank. So you'd click here, drag this over, same process in, in the PC. So nothing, nothing different there in terms of how to, uh, how to import this preset bank. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Let's see what kind of sound I'm using. I'm using a, um, a key sound from uh, brainstorm, which is a Omnisphere preset bank that you can get on frequency.com. Also put a link in the description for that. Let's go ahead and choose one of these presets. Now I'm going to let's, pick a random one I'm gonna go with number three and let's take a look here that three is in F sharp minor I'm just gonna go through these chords I like that one so I try to memorize which chords I like okay I like these three right here Okay, I like that little chord progression. Let's go ahead and record that. So turn on my metronome. Here we go. Okay, let's expand that. So the MIDI here, right, is just sending a signal to Cthulhu to play these chords. But what if we want to have that chord uh, progression that we built in Cthulhu actually appear in Logic or any other DAW. I use a little tool called um, Freeze MIDI Effects and uh, you can actually download this for free. Go check it out, Audio CR MIDI Effects Freeze. I'll also put a link in the description for that. This will allow you to take that, uh, that chord progression and freeze it in time and then basically just import it right into your DAW. It's super, super easy too. Let me show you. Let's go to the beginning of that chord progression and uh, we'll turn this on just like so and hit play. Okay, so now over on this side, you have the, uh, the MIDI tool that you can click and drag in and boom. That chord progression you just made in Cthulhu with that preset bank is now in your DAW. And now you can even, you know, go into this MIDI and um, and change it up a little bit. So go to your MIDI functions right here. And let's do a little 
humanize select and operate so make it sound a little more human remember to turn off Cthulhu otherwise it will not work and uh, we'll play this back let's go ahead and try to see if we can uh, find some more chord progressions that we can make with this preset here so let's uh, pick something in let's do C minor and I'm gonna change the sound also go over here and find a different key sound okay remember to turn it back on same process trying to find a combination of chords that I like Try and find a different sound here. It's a little loud. Okay. All right, let's record that. Bring the tempo up maybe a little bit. That's a nice little sample right there. And uh, same thing, let's quantize our selection here. And we want to capture that MIDI, so let's clear the MIDI out. Bring this to the front. Cool. Let's drag this over. Got to make some room here. Let's remember. Let's go ahead and move that over. And let's remember to turn off Cthulhu now. Same thing. Let's go ahead and uh, humanize that. So MIDI transform and humanize. You know, you could actually like come in here and change things up just a little bit. Yeah, so this preset bank has a lot to offer. I really appreciate Red Sounds uh, sending this through. It's definitely super, super dope. So be sure to go uh, check out redsounds.eu and uh, you know get your copy of uh, future R&B uh, chords for Cthulhu. My name's CJ, and I'm out for now. Peace. <laughs>